rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's peace and blessings be upon you. Today I want to talk about anyone who wants to achieve success in his life and what they have to do. There are two things. The first thing, you have to exert the effort to reach that goal. And the second thing is you have to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through dhikr and dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to us as a way for us to turn to Him in the time of trials. Anyone who is going through a trial these days, whether the trial is that you have fear of something or you're afraid of someone that might be plotting to harm you or you desire something in this life but it still hasn't come true. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq has a beautiful saying, if anyone is afraid or scared or troubled or desires something that has still not come true, he tells you about four Quranic verses. That if you say every day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from what you fear and helps you achieve what you want. Imam al ghafar al-Sadiq says, I'm astonished at the one who has fear from something or someone and does not move or gets moved when he hears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, sufficient for us is Allah, and he is the best disposer of affairs. Hasbun Allah wa na'ma al-wakil. For I have heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying after that, after that, so they returned with favor from Allah and bounty, no harm having touched them, and they pursued the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the possessor of great bounty. That is only Satan who frightens you of his supporters. And as if Imam Jafar is saying, if you are afraid of any harm that might befall on you, you should say, Hasbunallah wa na'ma al-wakil. Sufficient for us is Allah, and He is the best disposer of affairs. And the same thing that happened to the believers in the past will happen to you. So they returned with favor from Allah and bounty, no harm having touched them. So you should repeat, Hasbun Allah wa Na'man Wakil a lot. And he says, I'm astonished at the one who is burned, burdened and was not moved when he heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, There is no deity except you, exalted are you Allah. Indeed, I have been of the wrongdoers. La ilaha illa anta subhanak, inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. For I have heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after it saying, So we responded to him and saved him from the distress, and thus do we save the believers. فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمْ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِيَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Anyone who is burdened should say, La ilaha illa anta subhanak, inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rescue you as he rescued Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. Imam Jafar continues saying, and I am astonished at the one who has been plotted for or deceived and did not move when hearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seeing of his servants. وَأُفَوِّدُ أَمْرِي إِلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بالعباد. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after it says, so Allah protected him from the evils they plotted. Anyone who feels evil from someone who doesn't necessarily like them, be it at work or family or friends, should repeat, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seeing of his servants. And Allah will protect him from any evil plotted, inshaAllah. And the fourth thing he said, and I am astonished at the one who desired something from this dunya or life and was not moved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, What Allah willed has occurred. There is no power except in Allah. Ma sha Allah, la quwwata illa billah. For I have heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say after it, say, Although you see me less than you in wealth and children, it may be that my Lord will give me something better than your garden. فَعَسَى رَبِّيَ أَنْ يُؤْتِينَ خَيْرًا مِنْ جَنَّتَكَ Whoever needs sustenance in this dunya should repeat مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Four adhkars from four verses for anyone who is full of fear, troubled, afraid from others' evils or desires something in this dunya. Sufficient for us is Allah and He is the best disposer of affairs. حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنَعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ 
There is no deity except you, exalted are you. Indeed, I have been of the wrongdoers. La ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu min al For those feeling troubled. And I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seeing of his servants. Wa ufawwud amri ila Allah. Wallahu basirun bil ibad. For anyone afraid of another person's evil. And what Allah willed has occurred. There is no power except in Allah for anyone who desires something in this life. Ma sha Allah la quwwata illa billah. Exert the effort and do your part. Then turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the athkar and these lovely verses. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from all troubles or fear. And may He grant us each any or all the desires that we have in this dunya, Rabb. Ameen, Ya Rabb. Ameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.